at Mac 2024 and I'm on the Filter Mist stand with Lydia. Lydia, what's your position at Filter Mist? So I am the Marketing and Customer Experience Director at Filter Mist Limited. So what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis at Filter Mist? So Filter Mist, we make a range of oil mist extraction units, which we've made in the UK since 1969. Uh, this is one of them here, so I can show you this in action. So we literally got to pretend that this is a machine tool enclosure filling up with coolant mist. Um, coolant mist is very dangerous if you breathe it in. It obviously leaves nasty sticky particles on walls, on floors, on ceilings. It can damage uh, sensitive electrical equipment if it gets inside the control panels of a machine. So it's really important that you extract this from the um, enclosure of the machine tool. So the filter mist use, unit uses centrifugal force to, to draw in the contaminated air. It filters it out, clean air comes out the top and then the coolant goes back to the machine or can be collected. So it's actually recycling your coolant as well? It as can be. I mean, it depends on the application, course, how dirty yeah. it gets. Yeah, absolutely. That's down to the customer. So, it, But it can be collected for... Uh, yeah, how collection. important is having a filter mist on your machine? Because I know, is there legislation now that's coming into CNC machine shops there that is. you need something like this on absolutely. your machine? Absolutely. So COSH legislation has been around since I think it's 1988. Yeah. So people, employers have always been responsible for controlling the atmosphere in their workshops. So control of substances hazardous to health regulations and this comes under that and basically every single CNC machine the HSC inspects to expect to see an LEV system on that machine. So what the easiest way really is to get one of these on your machine when you're looking to purchase a machine to come to you guys straight away yeah. so when the machine's being installed you can get it on there and it's good to go. And it's done absolutely that's it and we work with lots of the OEMs lots of the UK's leading OEMs so that they can offer that as part of the specification at the point of purchase or otherwise customers can come to us and we can retrofit them yeah absolutely. So if you've got old machines as well yeah, yeah. you can just fit, out, uh, fit out your whole. Absolutely we do the whole yeah we do the whole service so we'll come out we'll do a technical visit to your site, look at what you need, manufacture the actual equipment itself, install it, commission it, service it, LEV test it, the whole service. Does it matter what machine you have? So say if I have a little small box machine compared to a big pallet changer five axis, does that determine what uh, model filter mist you yeah, have? Yeah, absolutely. So it'll, it will, yeah, so depending on what airflow you need, what application you're running, what type of coolant you're running, but our technical team, again, they'll come out, they'll look at all those specific requirements and then they will advise what's the best unit for your particular requirements. So just contact you and it is yeah, so going from there. We'll sort it all out, yeah, a one-stop shop. Brilliant, yeah, let's absolutely. move on to the next one. So okay. come along, guys. We're going to do a stand tour today. We've got customers on the stand as well, so we'll make sure we don't butt in there. So what's this now, Lydia? So again, so this is a filter mist unit. This is a mild steel version. Seen lots um, of these around. Absolutely, they are super popular. So um, with a high efficiency after filter, and we also offer a monitoring service, the F-Monitor 2. Okay. So again, part of cost legislation is that it needs to be easy for machine operators to see if there's a problem, make sure their filtration system is working effectively. So if you could imagine that up on a workshop, it's dead easy to see. It's got a traffic light system. So it's super simple for everybody to see that the filtration is working as it should be. Do these need to be serviced at all? They do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like any machinery, you know, of it needs course, to be yeah. tear. So regular service. Um, we recommend sort of once every 12 months and also regular LEV testing by a competent person and again we've got fully qualified LEV testing engineers which can come and do all that for you. It's all to do basically really as well is having a is having a clean machine shop isn't it? For Absolutely. your staff, for your customers, yeah, for the totally. machine tool as well. Yeah and also recruitment. I mean recruitment is difficult at the moment we all know how competitive it is. Of course. If a, if a candidate has got the choice between a dirty atmosphere or a nice clean one what are they going to choose? It's I know which one I'd go for. Absolutely yeah. exactly so it's, it's all those little things. So it's those, those intangible benefits. You know, we, we call it it's a grudge purchase. It's not like buying a lovely, sexy machine tool. But it keeps your factory clean, it keeps your workers clean and healthy and happy. And that's what is a productive And workforce. also it keeps your machine tool running. It, I yeah. suppose with the dirty oils and mist that come from it, it will affect your the insides of your machine, your yeah. tooling, your work holding, it's everything, everything to do. Every, even component quality. So you're exhausting that warm air out of the machine tool enclosure. And then that, that benefits the actual quality of the component because you're keeping it consistent inside. There's no fluctuations in temperature so again it's got additional benefits rather than just health and safety yeah brilliant so, what's okay. next on the list so Lydia? the next one is an electrostatic this is from our sister company diversitech this is the same sort of principle well it's, it's an oil mist clean and oil smoke um, but it's an electrostatic so it uses a different technology to our filter mist centrifugal units and if, if i was basically confused if i was a machine shop owner and mm -hmm. i was confused about what to get and what's best for my business 
I can come to you, you can do all that Absolutely. and decide which is best for my company. Yeah, totally. It's going to depend on all sorts of factors. So what your facility is, what your machine and what call it you're using, what the applications are, what your budget is. Let's face oh, it, yeah, everyone's yeah. got a different budget. But we've got a product in our portfolio which addresses all of that for every pocket. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So this is another option. It is another option, yeah. Let's Absolutely. move on around the stand. Okay, so what's this over here, Lydia? Okay, so this is a non-flam uh, wet dust collector from our dust check brand. So this is ideally suited for collecting um, explosive metal particles. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, exactly. So it can be ATEX rated, they can be sited inside or outside. So we do a range of dry dust collectors and wet dust collectors, but this is particularly suitable for uh, white metals. Okay, so yeah. what's the difference between wet dust, I mean, what industries are these these products going into? So this is very much metal working. So okay. we've had a lot of interest in this at, at the Mac show. There's lots of lots of people here who would make use of this. Yeah, no, that's fine. You've got a very good stand here. Thank you. You're really enclosed to everybody. You've got Hass opposite you. We have. Who have also got filter mist on their stand. So if all these machine tool providers have got filter mist on their machines, that must be a good thing, isn't it's it? It's great. I mean, and it's fantastic for our team to see the kind of the fruits of their labour around the show. You know, it makes us very proud. Definitely. We are one of the UK's well, we are the UK's leading leading LEV system manufacturer and provider, so it's really good to see. Yeah, and see when so we many. go and do videos around the UK and things like that, all you can see is these filter mists yeah. on top of their machines, which is great because it means that the industry is really taken on board that health and safety message. It's so important to look after your people, and it shouldn't be overlooked. No, one I mean, of these things absolutely. it shouldn't be overlooked. It, it's it's saving your and if customers are coming in and seeing you've got health and safety aspects in place as well, they know that they're confidently buying from absolutely a good from a good yeah, from a, yes, from a company that respects its staff and is going to do the right thing. Absolutely. And obviously comply with legislation, it's a legal requirement, so yeah. 100%. In a minute we're going to go over to Mark and we're going to talk about another product that you've we got are. on the sand. Yep, brand new for Mac and literally just brand new to the dust check range. We've got the fume guard welding fume extractors. So I'm going to pass you over to Mark Gorner Moss because he is much more au fait with that range than I am. Mark, we stood in front of the dust check fume guard, brand new on the stand. Tell me all about it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a mobile welding unit, um, which is going to be used mainly for workshops. There's a lot of places where centralised systems can't be fitted because you can't discharge to atmosphere or filter them. It could be due to cost for a customer. It could be due for there's just a certain amount of room not available or they don't have certain brackets to hang off. So this is when this sort of thing comes perfect. So are you looking to look at new companies or existing companies that are going to use this type of product? Ideally, yeah. So the main idea is distribution. I think okay. that's going to be the key. We've spoke to a lot of distributors while we've been here. Brilliant. Um, we've got four, four or five distributors which are willing, looking to work with us now. So we're open to build relationships with them and get them on board so we can start shifting these and start helping people out with lung problems and... 100%. And it's movable as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's completely mobile. Um, and you've got a 360 full, full, full 360 arm on top. The hood moves back and forth, so you can position it to pretty much anywhere, so it's really ergonomic. But the problem is with the HSE at the minute, they've, they can't harness certain fumes, same, same with mist. Yeah. They can't harness it to get, a, to get the, uh, the work, workplace exposure limit. So, the, so what we're finding is they're listing a lot of things as a lot, which is as low as re reasonably practicable. Okay. So this is when you need to start looking at the type of filtration you're using, especially high alloy metals, aluminium, titanium, stainless. Because there's a like lot that. of dirty metals out there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, of course. So when you're welding and the fumes release, there's a lot of moisture that comes with that as well, and then it binds and turns into a dust. So tell me exactly how it works. Yeah, so it, sex, it extracts through this hood. Yeah, here, yeah. Yep, and then it makes its way through here. This has a mild steel uh, internal skeleton. That's quite strong, actually, so you can yeah, pull yeah. it, ma manipul yeah. manipulate it into yeah, any absolutely. place you want. So it, it, you can pretty much, if you come around there, there's, yeah, you can carry move on. it down. Oh, wow. All the way. It goes up. It, yeah. it spins all the way around, full 360. So 360. Yeah, you can position it pretty much however you want, and the footprint, it's really small it as well. It is, it's tiny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that you can move it, 360 so is it only one person can use it at a time yeah so but you, you can share it like, of course you, yeah, uh, yeah yeah in that sense but in yeah one in use we we are having a version come out that does have two arms on but um, maybe if someone if you move across the shop or something like that and someone needs to use it now because a customer needs it out the door you're yeah. able to take it across yeah, the workshop absolutely and, so an another thing that we do find a lot yeah there's customers who may have they do welding out on site and okay. they need something like this because they, they can't, you can't just magically appear a No, it's system. hard, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, so whereas this is, ex is perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next item you've got on yeah, the stand absolutely. just round here. 
So the principle with this is the same. Okay. So, but this is made for on torch, so you can get torch torches which have extraction built in. Okay. So TIG and MIG, and this this is exactly what that's for. So it works exactly the same, pretty much. But the only the, the difference is with this is you can. You switch it on here. Yeah. You can dampen down the speed to suit what gas flow they use. Okay. Each welder has a different level of gas usage. Okay. So some will use of more, course, some will yeah. use less. Yeah. So. Is that it, sorry to put yeah. in there? Is that yeah. on the type of stuff you're doing is determined by the gas, or is that the person? It's the person. Okay. Yeah, it's, it okay. differs from person to person. Some weld slower, some weld faster, some use different levels of wire. So to have that yeah. for different people is fantastic because yeah, so you're can not make just standardised. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. And the other option you got, so on this end here, if it's switched into auto, you, the earth clip yeah. on the welder, yeah. you can attach it to this, and then that sends a signal in, so you don't even have to touch it. So as soon as you strike your torch, it'll fire up. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So you're not firing out your torch, coming around here, turning it on, then going back, once you know for yeah. a fact that when you're starting to weld, exactly, it, yeah. it's turned on. So the, and the other, the other good thing is as well, because it switches off when the torch switches off, yeah. energy saving. Energy saving, yeah. and like what I do at home sometimes with my straighteners is when I've left home, oh my God, I haven't unplugged my straighteners. Yeah. You know that as soon as you've turned that weld off, that it's, that it's, yeah. that it's off. That's exactly it. Here it says easy, easy maintenance and cleanable cartridge filter. How good of an advantage is that for a customer to be able to clean your filter well, and not have dirt? Well, yeah. it will be dirty, but not have everything come out and be bad for the environment. Yeah, so it's, it makes a big difference because uh, maintenance, it costs so much. So we needed something cleanable, and but compact at the same time. Yeah. So the idea of it was, is that we'll get a cleanable cartridge filter, you can take it out, put it in a bag, clean it, and then put it back in, so it extends the life of the filter. So, and the other option was, when we were getting this designed, we, a lot of, a lot of other ones are quite tall. Yeah, yeah, and, I was gonna say, it's quite yeah. small, isn't it, yeah. So what we've gone for is something that we can, f we can still provide the power you need, yeah. but you can fit it under a bench. 100%, because yeah. you don't want to be tripping over it, especially with welders, they're quite up top, aren't they? Yeah. Well, on tables or if you're working down there, and sometimes these units go up to about here and they get in the way, so the, to be able to push this underneath is just amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in any of the products that you've seen on this video and on the stand tour at Filtermist, get in contact with the guys and I'm sure they'll sort you out.